Surprise, surprise, some Bigfoot sightings in Wintergreen have been debunked. 911, what are you reporting? Uh, with someone or something crawling around out here. Get somebody out here. What's going on now, sir? This is about six foot nine, I don't know. Seriously, look how big it is. I don't think it is a human. I think it's a Sasquatch. It's been said that Bigfoot exhibits nocturnal behavior, perhaps to hunt or to avoid detection. Bigfoot stories have captured people's imaginations all around the world for ages. Cloaked in mystery and conjecture, reports of sightings of this elusive monster have endured from the remote mountains of Asia to the dark forests of North America. For a body that has repeatedly denied the existence of this species, the U.S. government recently revealed horrifying Bigfoot photographs. This is huge. How did they obtain these photos? Does the government know more about Bigfoot than they are disclosing? Join us as we uncover the truth behind some of the most shocking Bigfoot photos that the government leaked. Out of Texas, Bigfoot is real. Casts are kind of my thing, so I was excited to get in deep with this. Somewhere between six and eight feet tall and covered in brown or reddish or blackish fur. For centuries, the legend of Bigfoot has had us all hooked. From the depths of North American forests to the remote Asian mountains. There are lots of Native American stories of lots of different creatures in the woods. Bigfoots in North America. The recent sighting and ensuing search for Bigfoot are at the top of the list this year, with North America emerging as a center for a variety of unexplained occurrences. Given the chances of finding Bigfoot, this search is both risky and exciting. The U.S. administration has decided to join the search efforts since the issue has gotten out of hand. Their efforts have already paid off handsomely when horrifying images allegedly featuring Bigfoot surfaced. There are a lot of people who are involved in this pursuit. They are all intriguing people in their own right who will stop at nothing to find out the truth about Bigfoot. One of the most well-known players in this search is Ohio and Mark Dorth, an ardent Bigfoot investigator. For the past 30 years, Mark has been looking for this elusive monster non-stop. He has gathered a sizable amount of evidence over the years, including audio recordings and footprints, and he even had a close encounter that stoked his enthusiasm for the quest. According to legend, Mark first became fascinated with Bigfoot when he was investigating an abandoned strip mine for Badger Dens. It dawned on him throughout this journey that something was following him. The pursuer soon revealed itself to be a gigantic, hairy, primate-like beast, much to his surprise. Mark was greatly affected by this terrifying experience, which strengthened his resolve to obtain solid evidence of Bigfoot's existence. Mark's narrative is but one of several. Additional reports and footage have surfaced, adding to the growing body of evidence suggesting that Bigfoot may indeed be among us. Both believers and doubters are drawn into the continuous discussion about this enigmatic monster by these sightings, which never cease to terrify and intrigue. The world waits in suspense to see if conclusive evidence of Bigfoot's existence will eventually be found as the search heats up. See more about the individuals committed to finding the truth and about other reports of Bigfoot encounters by continuing to watch. Mississippi Woods Encounter A remarkable video has surfaced that has captured the attention of people all around the world. It appears to show a Sasquatch moving through the dense Mississippi forests. Josh Huff originally captured and uploaded the video to YouTube in 2015, and it has since sparked new rumors regarding the existence of the fabled monster. Josh describes the horrifying moment he came into the enigmatic creature in the description that goes with the video. He describes how, while wearing hunting camouflage and patiently waiting for dusk to fall, he heard an odd noise coming from behind the tree he was using as cover while out hog hunting. Josh was shocked to see the enigmatic figure when he eventually did, as he had initially thought it was the pigs he was hunting. Josh described it as a huge black thing, noting its big shoulders and human-like erect stance. Remarkably, the being seemed to be excavating next to a lifeless cypress tree, its hands laboring in the soil. Josh was so terrified, 
that his first inclination was to run away, but he couldn't help but be drawn to take a picture of the bizarre scene with his iPhone. The sound of an approaching truck cut through the silence in the woods as Josh filmed the situation with stealth. The creature was startled and sprang to a towering height. Feeling a mixture of terror and wonder, Josh calculated the creature's height to be an astounding seven feet, a figure derived from his experience as a seasoned hunter. Josh was disturbed by the encounter and his senses were sharpened by the bizarre experience. Josh was determined to share his incredible experience with others, even though he expected skepticism in return in an attempt to dispel the mystery surrounding the Mississippi woods. Since then, both enthusiasts and cryptozoologists have become more interested in and critical of his film, with many still searching for conclusive proof of Bigfoot's existence. In addition to reviving the debate concerning Bigfoot, the resurrection of this film has brought attention to the many additional sightings and interactions that have been documented over the years. The Bigfoot mythology keeps expanding as more people come out with their accounts and proof, leading many people to question whether there is an unidentified creature prowling North American forests. Josh Huff's film is still a crucial component of this unsolved riddle because it exhorts doubters and believers alike to remain open-minded and cautious while venturing into uncharted territory, unveiling the menorah mystery. The terrifying legend of the Manura monster captivated the Ohio community of Manura in 1978. The Khan family reported seeing a strange creature close to their house, which sparked the uproar. They said the creature looked like Bigfoot, who was known to toss boulders at their home and make huge footprints in their backyard. The Khans weren't the only ones making allegations. Other locals and neighbors also claimed to have seen the big, hairy monster. This led to the case receiving a lot of media attention and the iconic moniker, the Manura Monster Case. Jim Shannon, a former Stark County Sheriff who answered a distress call from the Khan family, noted the obvious dread they were feeling. He said, they were terrified. I'll continue to believe them. Something caught their eye. What did they observe is the question. The public's interest and anxiety increased when the sightings were given formal recognition. A substantial portion of local folklore revolves around the Manura Monster case, an enigmatic chapter in the town's history that never fails to astonish and unsettle. The mythology expanded as more people came forward with their tales, leading many to speculate as to the real nature of the beast that plagued Manura. The Owen Sound Encounter. The hosts of Sasquatch University, Ryan Willis and Joel Porter, are no strangers to incredible sightings. President of the show Willis highlights that they have received a lot of stories about Sasquatch sightings, which they find to be quite genuine. They think their program would benefit greatly from these reports becoming strong episodes. Ryan Willis and Joel Porter, hosts of the TV show Sasquatch University, have gathered numerous reports of Sasquatch sightings, which they consider highly credible. Their latest investigation took place just four minutes west of Owen Sound, where a Sasquatch was spotted near a road sign, estimated to be around 11 FT tall. Porter cited another sighting where a resident spotted the creature through a window, adding a degree of mystery to their research. Another interesting sighting was reported in Wisconsin on May 28, 2023, when a woman was driving down a road in Okono County. She noticed a large black and brown figure resembling a man, but something didn't quite add up. The creature was walking on two legs, taking about 10 steps without sound, calls for help or waving arms. Its skin was dark black and brown with hairy legs, even down to the feet. A Reddit user named Bigfoot Watcher shared a story nine years ago about an unusual encounter in their backyard. Two nights ago, Bigfoot Watcher's boyfriend went outside to walk their dogs, and suddenly one of the dogs started barking so strongly with his flashlight light. The boyfriend scanned the grassy area where the woods began usually a spot where they saw deer, but this time he saw something different. Two eyes stared back at him about nine feet off the ground. Feeling a rush of fear, the boyfriend rushed to bring the dogs back inside as the mysterious figure turned and casually strolled back into the woods moving like a man with arms and shoulders. In Washington state, 
amateur Bigfoot enthusiasts known as the Olympic Project have made a remarkable claim they've stumbled upon a series of nests believed to belong to Bigfoot. After studying them closely with the help of a primatologist, they concluded that these nests seem to have been made by a primate. Other experts theorize that these formations could be territorial markings signaling Bigfoot's presence in the area. Primate experts John R. Napier and anthropologist Gordon Stenberg have put forward an interesting idea about where Bigfoot might have come from, a species called Paranthropus. Paranthropus stands out with its gorilla-like skull structure and its ability to walk on two legs. Willis described a specific incident in which a Sasquatch, estimated to be approximately 11 feet tall, was seen close to a road sign, appearing to gaze over it. Porter's statement of another encounter, in which a local neighbor saw the creature through a window, added excitement and mystery to their research. On this mission, Willis and Porter did everything they could to get a film of the creature, but to no avail. All the same, they are still adamant about getting hard evidence. Motivated by the copious amounts of reliable reports they have gathered, as well as the intriguing evidence they have found, they are determined to find the truth about the Owen Sound sightings. The hosts of Sasquatch University are unrelenting in their quest to present the public with solid proof of Sasquatch. The unique encounters they have documented and their unwavering dedication to the inquiry keep the mystery surrounding Sasquatch alive and compelling. The hosts and their audience are still excited about the possibility of finding indisputable proof as they continue their explorations. Among Us, more terrifying revelations. Three years before Josh Huff's incredible meeting in October 2012, an intriguing incident happened in Provo Canyon that has piqued the interest of many people ever since. A group of siblings saw what they initially thought to be a bear wandering through the woods while out on a stroll. But they were taken aback as the beast suddenly stood up on two legs, revealing itself to be something far more confusing. The siblings had been enticed by the sight of deer and had traveled deeper into the woodland to get a closer look before they saw the thing. They came across the Bigfoot-like monster when they were pursuing the deer. They fled the scene fast, feeling a mixture of shock and terror, but not before taking a picture of the enigmatic being. The siblings are still baffled by the event and can't identify the thing they saw that day with certainty. Still, the brief films they recorded are powerful pieces of evidence, inspiring curiosity and conjecture in those who have watched them. Let's go back to 2007, which was five years before the events in Provo Canyon. A similar experience was had by Hunter Rick Jacobs in Pennsylvania's Allegheny National Forest. Rick had the wonderful idea to mount a wildlife camera on a tree so that it would take pictures as soon as it detected movement. Rick was hoping to see glimpses of animals meandering through the woodland, like deer and bears. He had no idea that he was going to discover something truly remarkable. Rick looked through his camera's collection and saw the typical pictures of wildlife. But among these, he saw a terrifying picture that made his skin crawl. There it was, seemingly Bigfoot lurking in the shadows. The thing had a strange aura, was covered in hair, stood erect like a man, and was enormous. This photograph, which was taken entirely by accident, was added to the mounting collection of proof that Bigfoot exists. Most of the most recent data has come from hunters and those who spend a lot of time in the woods. Their testimonies and visual proof keep stoking the controversy and intrigue around Bigfoot. However, with the disclosures from knowledgeable journalists and other reliable sources, the tale is going to take an even more fascinating turn. With every sighting and encounter that is reported, the enigma surrounding Bigfoot grows. These eyewitness stories, which range from the Provo Canyon siblings to Pennsylvania's Rick Jacobs, add to a larger story that captures the imagination. There is still mystery and conjecture surrounding the notion that an unidentified animal is prowling the woods. The Bigfoot tale lives on, regardless of whether these sightings are the product of complex hoaxes, misidentifications, 
or real encounters with an unidentified creature. Each new piece of evidence adds to the complex tapestry of stories surrounding this elusive monster, and the search for conclusive proof is still ongoing. The curiosity about these unexplained sightings is still high among researchers, enthusiasts, and interested bystanders, and Bigfoot sightings do not appear to be going away. The narrative keeps developing, enticing us to keep reading and speculating about the mysterious entity that might be hiding somewhere deep within the forest. Bigfoot in Russia and Washington. The startling video that showed a Bigfoot pursuing a car surfaced from Russia in 2016 and has captivated and alarmed people all over the world. A shadowy figure can be seen in the distance in the footage, steadily getting closer to the car, the creature miraculously maintains its speed despite the car's attempts to escape, ultimately catching up. There is an obvious sense of unease as the people inside the car can be heard frantically telling one another to shut the windows because they think the creature is getting closer. The females in the car yell out of fear at one point, alerting them to the creature's approach. There are even claims that the Bigfoot jumped onto the car and broke the glass although this was not documented on camera. This experience suggests a level of hostility not usually connected with sightings elsewhere, which begs interesting concerns concerning Bigfoot's behavior in Russia. Three kids enjoying a day of snow play in January 2013 discovered something extraordinary, a Bigfoot. This sighting is another noteworthy encounter in Russia. This incident was noteworthy enough to be highlighted in a National Geographic program. The kids' jovial conversation stopped as they followed some footprints to the edge of a frozen lake. There was a tall, black, hairy person in the distance. The beast bolted off at the first sign of the youngsters. The children scrambled back, terrified. The kids gave a detailed account of the creature in interviews with National Geographic, describing it as tall and hairy overall, with a hairless face. The kids were certain they had seen a real-life Bigfoot, and so were their parents. There are Bigfoot sightings outside of Russia as well. Numerous sightings have been recorded in Washington State, a location well known for these kinds of encounters. A Department of Transportation webcam on Sherman Pass along State Route 20 recorded one such occurrence. The webcam captured what seemed to be Bigfoot passing through the mountain pass and then vanishing behind some trees at the side of the road. The massive, hairy figure matched the fabled description of Bigfoot. It's hardly shocking that this creature would reside in Washington State, considering the state's long history of Bigfoot sightings and claims. A game camera caught another fascinating sighting in Washington State. Researchers used a game camera disguised as a boulder to try and capture the elusive creature that was supposedly hiding in the area. They did this by installing the camera in the yard of a man who had reported seeing Bigfoot there nine months earlier. Eventually, the camera did manage to get a picture. However, at first, it was a jumbled, fuzzy mess. But after more investigation, the scientists found what they thought to be a forehead, another eye, a nasal bridge segment, and an eye with wrinkles above it. This image was strikingly similar to an eyewitness drawing of the creature, adding even more validity to the event. These tales, which range from the terrifying hunt in Russia to the numerous sightings in Washington state, add to the increasing amount of information and mystery surrounding Bigfoot. The Bigfoot tale endures despite the lack of conclusive photographic evidence due to the reliability of eyewitness reports and the increasing number of sightings. Whether these sightings are the product of complex hoaxes, misidentifications, or real encounters with an unidentified species, they continue to pique interest and provoke discussion among believers and non-believers alike. The enigma surrounding Bigfoot persists as experts and inquisitive people look deeper, encouraging further investigation and conjecture about this elusive creature that prowls the world's forests and wilderness places. Albert Osmond's Strange Bigfoot Encounter An experienced lumberjack and woodsman named Albert Osmond went camping in the forest before 1924. Albert disregarded stories he had heard about a mythical creature known as Sasquatch as mere folklore. But one night, while he slept in his sleeping bag, 
he was startled awake by a Sasquatch, which swiftly converted his disbelief into pure panic. Albert spent the next three hours being carried by the Sasquatch across the untamed countryside while strapped into his sleeping bag, only to be abruptly dumped onto a plateau. He was shocked and terrified to find that there were now four of these animals surrounding him, two adults and two kids. Albert described how they imprisoned him for six days, one of the adult Sasquatches at an intimidating eight feet tall. Albert carried a gun, but he decided not to pull the trigger because the Sasquatches were not hostile toward him. Rather, he lived in harmony with the Bigfoot family, even eating the tasty grass they provided him, while the female Sasquatch took care of household tasks like cleaning and arranging leaves. Eventually, Albert made a daring escape by cunningly putting the giant male Sasquatch to sleep with snuff. But for more than 20 years, he concealed his incredible story out of dread of mockery from doubters. Albert felt forced to tell the public about his incredible experience only after a plethora of other reports and tales of Sasquatch sightings started making the rounds in the media. In October 2023, there was another remarkable sighting of Sasquatch in Colorado that attracted a lot of attention. While traveling across Colorado on their anniversary, Parker and Shannon, a couple, saw the creature while riding the Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. The blurry, zoomed-in video footage went viral, but it still shows a towering, brownish figure moving in a very non-human way. Witness Stenson, who posted the footage online, highlighted the creature's eerie look, pointing out its strange walk and abnormally extended limbs. He expressed doubts about the video's authenticity, pointing out that even if it were a fake, it was done very effectively. The sighting added a fascinating new chapter to the ongoing tale of cryptid encounters in North America and rekindled conversations and conjectures about Sasquatch's existence. An avid hunter named Craig Sulky gained notoriety for his claims to have seen Bigfoot and for having photographic proof of the elusive creature. Craig went hunting with his wife regularly, and in 2012 they installed trail cameras on their property in an attempt to bring in more animals. They were shocked to see an unusual figure that resisted simple classification as either animal or human caught by one of these cameras. Craig was well versed in handling the discovery, having watched Finding Bigfoot on Animal Planet with great interest. He immediately got in touch with the TV station and sent them the interesting pictures his cameras had taken. Craig was impressed with his ability to get three different photos of the enigmatic creature, according to Animal Planet. They then put Craig and his discoveries in an episode, which catapulted him into the forefront of Bigfoot studies. After the show aired, Craig was inundated with calls and visits from other Americans who were willing to share their own experiences with the paranormal. In response to the intense attention, Craig and his spouse decided to allow interested parties to explore the location of Bigfoot sightings on their property. The guests carefully examine the images and make their judgments regarding the existence of this mysterious beast. The 911 Call from Bigfoot Central in Washington State, famously labeled as Bigfoot Central, a horrifying incident transpired in 1996 when a scared man placed a panicked contact to emergency services. The real recording of this call is available online, giving an extra element of mystery to the disturbing narrative. In the call, the guy informs the operator that he noticed a tall, dark figure lurking in his yard after his motion sensor light switched on. He describes the monster as like a huge guy at roughly 6 feet 8 inches tall. Adding to the intensity of the scenario, he confesses that his dog had suddenly been killed in the yard the night before. As panic creeps in, the man anxiously pleads with the operator to bring rescue immediately. A week later, the sheriff's office received a picture allegedly capturing Bigfoot hiding in a neighbor's yard. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the incident, the man's thorough description of the event left everyone wondering whether it was a person, an animal, or something far more unusual. The history of Bigfoot sightings spans centuries, chronicled extensively by experts like John Green, 
whose Sasquatch book in the Canadian Encyclopedia reported 1,400 occurrences over the 19th and 20th centuries. This extensive historical record lends weight to the likelihood that Bigfoot stories may possess more reality than doubters might imagine. In Southern California's Dana Point, lawyer Matt Moneymaker resides, noted for his part in founding the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization. This organization comprises approximately 3,000 persons who claim to have encountered Sasquatch in the woodlands of eastern Ohio and beyond. Moneymaker himself relates a horrifying personal encounter where he found himself face to face with the beast. According to his report, it was 2 a.m. with a quarter moon giving a low light when Moneymaker suddenly observed an eight-foot-tall creature just 15 feet away emitting a terrifying growl. This encounter left him with a definite sensation that he had intruded upon the creature's area. Despite his important involvement in the Bigfoot research community, no member of the group has managed to get a clear picture of the elusive beast. Nevertheless, each member holds their encounters and stories with the famous Sasquatch. The phenomenon of Bigfoot sightings continues to fascinate popular imagination and provoke discussion. While skeptics attribute sightings to misidentifications or hoaxes, proponents contend that the consistency and sheer number of accounts across diverse locations show something more than simple folklore. The appeal of the unknown and the prospect of encountering a monster that straddles the line between myth and reality continue to drive researchers, enthusiasts, and curious folks alike into the forests and rural locations where Bigfoot is claimed to roam. What are your thoughts on Bigfoot sightings? Share your ideas in the comments below. If you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel for more engaging stories like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time. The Three Photographs of Bigfoot An avid hunter named Craig Sulky gained notoriety for his claims to have seen Bigfoot and for having photographic proof of the elusive creature. Craig went hunting with his wife regularly, and in 2012 they installed trail cameras on their property in an attempt to bring in more animals. They were shocked to see an unusual figure that resisted simple classification as either animal or human caught by one of these cameras. Craig was well versed in handling the discovery having watched Finding Bigfoot on Animal Planet with great interest. He immediately got in touch with the TV station and sent them the interesting pictures his cameras had taken. Craig was impressed with his ability to get three different photos of the enigmatic creature, according to Animal Planet. They then put Craig and his discoveries in an episode, which catapulted him into the forefront of Bigfoot studies. After the show aired, Craig was inundated with calls and visits from other Americans who were willing to share their own experiences with the paranormal. In response to the intense attention, Craig and his spouse decided to allow interested parties to explore the location of Bigfoot sightings on their property. The guests carefully examine the images and make their judgments regarding the existence of this mysterious beast. The 911 Call from Bigfoot Central in Washington State, famously labeled as Bigfoot Central, a horrifying incident transpired in 1996 when a scared man placed a panicked contact to emergency services. The real recording of this call is available online, giving an extra element of mystery to the disturbing narrative. In the call, the guy informs the operator that he noticed a tall, dark figure lurking in his yard after his motion sensor light switched on. He describes the monster as like a huge guy at roughly 6 feet 8 inches tall. Adding to the intensity of the scenario, he confesses that his dog had suddenly been killed in the yard the night before. As panic creeps in, the man anxiously pleads with the operator to bring rescue immediately. A week later, the sheriff's office received a picture allegedly capturing Bigfoot hiding in a neighbor's yard. Despite the uncertainty surrounding the incident, the man's thorough description of the event left everyone wondering whether it was a person, an animal, or something far more unusual. The history of Bigfoot sightings spans centuries, chronicled extensively by experts like John Green, whose Sasquatch book in the Canadian Encyclopedia reported 1,400 occurrences 
over the 19th and 20th centuries. This extensive historical record lends weight to the likelihood that Bigfoot stories may possess more reality than doubters might imagine. In Southern California's Dana Point, lawyer Matt Moneymaker resides, noted for his part in founding the Bigfoot Field Researchers Organization. This organization comprises approximately 3,000 persons who claim to have encountered Sasquatch in the woodlands of Eastern Ohio and beyond. Moneymaker himself relates a horrifying personal encounter where he found himself face to face with the beast. According to his report, it was 2 a.m. with a quarter moon giving a low light when Moneymaker suddenly observed an eight-foot-tall creature just 15 feet away emitting a terrifying growl. This encounter left him with a definite sensation that he had intruded upon the creature's area. Despite his important involvement in the Bigfoot research community, no member of the group has managed to get a clear picture of the elusive beast. Nevertheless, each member holds their encounters and stories with the famous Sasquatch. The phenomenon of Bigfoot sightings continues to fascinate popular imagination and provoke discussion. While skeptics attribute sightings to misidentifications or hoaxes, proponents contend that the consistency and sheer number of accounts across diverse locations show something more than simple folklore. The appeal of the unknown and the prospect of encountering a monster that straddles the line between myth and reality continue to drive researchers, enthusiasts, and curious folks alike into the forests and rural locations where Bigfoot is claimed to roam. What are your thoughts on Bigfoot sightings? Share your ideas in the comments below. If you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Subscribe to our channel for more engaging stories like this. Thank you for watching and see you next time.